today's video is going to be my overview of a new product in the trend range of products called the Air Stealth Half Mask. Now this offers a filtration level of 0.3 of a micron to P3, which is suitable for softwoods, hardwoods and indeed MDF. I will state from the outset that this type of a mask relies on a good facial seal and obviously with a beard that cannot be achieved. So the overall integrity and effectiveness of the mask is compromised by the fact that I have facial hair. So that is something to consider. But for all the other clean shaven people out there, it's worth taking a look at. So in the box you get the mask, you get a plastic bag to keep it in when you're not actually using it to keep it clean and a full instruction manual on how to uh, put the mask on which I will show you now and indeed change the filters and general maintenance of the mask and the guarantee. Okay so the mask is basically a rubber and plastic construction apart from the filters. Inside you can see there are two um, HEPAC filters on the other side of that grill and at the bottom there is the non-return valve. To actually wear it, and bearing in mind this is not an ideal solution for somebody with a beard, they've got a pretty nifty little way of um, securing it. These are very easily adjust adjustable to whatever um, size you require and they hook like this behind your neck. So if you put it on first like so, around your neck, then get the mask fitting tightly around comfortably and then you take this strap and place it like so. Now one thing to note, I wear glasses and I'm breathing through my mouth or my nose they're not steaming up at all and it's cold in this workshop today believe me so that is a plus for glasses wearers as well now as I'm talking and breathing in this environment with all this type of a mask the uh, uh, the um, the fabric type masks with valves or whatever they too suffer with one problem in this sort of an environment is that when the condensation is formed your hot breath breathing into the cold air it creates condensation and what happens is those linen masks or the fabric masks absorb that and they get damp and soggy um, this is made as i say of plastic and rubber and the internal part is all rubber uh, the seal and the body of it so in actual fact you will get a bit of condensation in there in this sort of environment but it's not a problem you get a paper towel and dab it out and jobs are good and ready to go again so that is another advantage of this particular mask now the grill here covers the HEPAC filters now if you want if you need to change them all you do and bear in mind I'm not the most dexterous person in the world as you know you undo the little uh, tabs here and the grill comes away revealing the two HEPAC filters and indeed the non-return valve. To change these is simplicity itself even for somebody as ham-fisted as I am is there's a rubber lip there which holds this in place. So you've got your fresh filter and this is the bit, I, I'm going to try and not edit this out. <laughs> you, you put the rim of the filter under the lip and then literally just feed it in around. And I found the best way to do the last bit is to pull the mask away and literally just fit it in. And there you go, your fresh filter is in there. And then fitting the guard back on, and again, this might not be of interest, I mean, everybody can read instructions, but I fiddled around with it. And somebody that, as I say, is not dexterous to very dexterous, to put it back on, I found the best way to do it is to, is to get one of the clips and to um, get that in place and fix it and secure it. So that one's been turned. Go to the other side and do the same thing. And 
get that over there and fit him in, press from underneath in the middle and then twist. Now this isn't quite over there, not a problem, if you grab hold of it and just push it down, there we go, and that fits in. Um, and that's without any editing, <laughs> which I'm rather pleased with. Okay, so that's the unit, um, and as I say, it gives you a P3 filtration to 0.3 of a micron, which is suitable for softwoods, hardwoods, and MDF. I hope that's been of some interest to you and gives you some sort of information which you can add to your list of information to help you make an informed decision uh, on what to get. Thanks very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.